You've heard it said, when I get to heaven, I'm gonna run up to Jesus and give him a big hug. When I finally stand before God, I'm gonna ask him many questions. But in all reality, and biblically speaking, when you finally appear before God, you'll be down on your face, struggling to look up at his brilliance. At this, Abram fell face down on the ground. Then God said to him, this is my covenant with you. I will make you the father of a multitude of nations. It's Genesis chapter 17, verses three and four. The scripture also says, but even as he spoke, a bright cloud overshadowed them. And a voice from the cloud said, this is my dearly loved son who brings me great joy. Listen to him. The disciples were terrified and fell face down on the ground. That's Matthew chapter 17, verses five and six. And all the angels were standing around the throne and around the elders and the four living beings, and they fell before the throne with their faces to the ground and worshiped God. That's Revelation chapter seven, verse 11. Sure, we'll fellowship with God, we'll laugh with God, walk and talk with God, and so forth. And yes, God is your father and you are his child. But we mustn't so casually treat the glory of God that we fail to properly reverence His presence. It is a privilege to know His presence. In fact, before Christ died on the cross, there was a protocol to entering God's presence. Only a certain few could enter, and even so, only on the right days, at the right time, in the right attire, having undergone the right procedures. Now today, we enter His presence boldly. And so, dear brothers and sisters, we can boldly enter heaven's most holy place because of the blood of Jesus. That's Hebrews chapter 10, verse 19. However, we mustn't confuse boldness with irreverence. We must reverence, honor, appreciate, and cherish the presence of the Holy Spirit in our lives. His glory is beautiful, and it's also frightening. May we remember to tremble before his glory. I'm David Diga Hernandez, and that is your moment of truth. Thank you for watching Encounter TV. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Also, help us spread the gospel of Jesus Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit. Make a one-time donation or become a monthly supporter by clicking on the donate link now.